team of, Dina. I'll say it in French, Le Seigneur des Anneaux, Les Anneaux, les anneaux du Pouvoir. In French. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. But it's true. It's it's what is it? A hundred million people have been watching it. Um, does this has it registered with you? Are you when you're shooting? Do you think about all of the fans all over the world that are watching it? Has it registered you try that you're not to, right? Otherwise, you get too nervous. You try not to. But we're certainly happy that you know we're a global show. So anytime we go to another country and sort of are meeting fans from the world over, it's we sort of really understand. I think the impact that the show's had for sure. C'est une série uh, internationale, donc quand on est à la rencontre de nos fans partout dans le monde, on comprend un peu l'impact uh, qu'a la, la, la série. Um, and you just finished season two? Season two? You just. Season two has been finished. <laughs> peut-être, peut-être. Yeah, peut-être. On ne sait pas. Sorry. Uh, one of us that can speak French. <laughs> okay, no, but it's fine. You're in the right place. It's, it's international here, yeah, so yeah. voila. So is it is it kind of a, a culture shock to go from when you're shooting, like Middle Earth to Monaco, as I was saying? When you're shooting, are you really in that world? I mean, because we get escape into this world. Are you there and is it hard to leave your characters it's 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 always a culture shock when you go into middle earth and when you come out of it i think but coming here i mean monte carlo monaco has such a rich history both sides of the word it's just it is this is like fantasy being here c'est toujours un choc de culture quand on quitte middle earth pour venir ici mais surtout à monaco c'est vraiment uh, une ville de fantaisie, donc uh, pour nous c'est un peu comme être dans un uh, paradis uh, ici. Um, so what are you most looking forward to about meeting the fans, about showing, we're going to see some behind the scenes. Can you uh, give us a little scoop of what we're going to see? That's a very good question. <laughs> the, the amazing thing about this job is that sometimes our, the worlds don't collide and so we don't see each other for a bit and then we get invited to each other's sets and then we see little bits. So the joy for us when we see the behind the scenes is that bits that we haven't actually been able to witness. So it's ex as it's as exciting for us as it is for anyone else to see. Okay. Well, les deux mondes ils sont tellement séparés que parfois ils se voient même pas sur le tournage. Donc pour eux c'est vraiment génial de pouvoir à, au festival comme ça de uh, découvrir ce que font uh, des autres. Anyone have a favorite memory from set or a, or a worse memory, a horror story, uh, an anecdote, a cr the most memorable moment from shooting seasons one or two? So many. So many. I think for me, season two has been really fun to do like the more physical acting and a lot of, a lot of, just doing a bit of action has been very fun for me. Season two, faire tous les scènes d'action, c'était tellement amusant. I think for me, it's just getting to know these guys. I mean, these are sort of my my fellowship. So we've all sort of bonded through this this journey, and we're still very much on it. So I would say it's a a, a memory of the past and the present and the future. C'est vraiment uh, pouvoir uh, le meilleur souvenir, c'est rencontrer uh, ces personnes là parce que on est vraiment sur ce voyage ensemble et uh, on continue le voyage. Et we'll see you all for the behind the scenes coming soon. Merci beaucoup, merci, thank you merci. so much.